let's talk about MRI and the physics that creates the beautiful images of the inside of our bodies. So to begin, let's look at our bodies and zoom in, zoom in again, zoom in a whole lot more, and eventually we get to an atom, a hydrogen atom to be exact. Now let's zoom in one more level of this hydrogen atom and we get to its nucleus, which where hydrogen happens to be just a single proton. Now the single proton is gonna be the lead actor as we talk about magnetic resonance. Now every proton has two properties, a spin and a magnetic moment. Now these are fundamental properties of this proton, just like mass or electric charge. Now because this little proton has a magnetic moment, we can think of it like a little teeny tiny bar magnet. Okay, so now we have this little teeny tiny bar magnet that we're thinking of our proton as. And when we put it in a big magnetic field like this one, let's call it V0, our main magnetic field, pointing up. It's gonna do what any magnet does. It's gonna to tend to align with it, just like a compass. So now remember, all of this is happening inside our bodies. So where do we have hydrogen in our bodies? Now, our bodies are mostly made up of water, H2O. So hydrogen atoms are everywhere. So now we have these little teeny tiny bar magnets within molecules in our body, and they're aligned to this big magnetic field. So now we're gonna have some fun with it. Now we're gonna move around this little bar magnet in different directions. Because it's a magnet, we can use magnetic fields to move it around and change its direction. When we put current through this coil, we're gonna create a magnetic field that points in this direction. Let's call it the B1 magnetic field. So now, we had this little bar magnet that was aligned with the B0 main magnetic field, but we created this B1 pointing in this other direction. So eventually this little, proton is going to want to align with B1. But now, all of a sudden, let's turn B1 off. We'll just stop putting current through it. Now, eventually, this little bar magnet is going to slowly but surely rise back up to be aligned with the main magnetic field. Now, from Faraday's law of induction, we know that any time we have a magnet moving within a coil, we induce voltage in that coil. Now, because these little this little proton is moving within this coil, we can actually pick up a voltage from it. And it looks something like this. If we measure what's going on in this coil, we measure the voltages going through it, the signal is gonna look something like this. Now remember, this is just what this one single proton is doing. There are lots of other protons in the body and they might be behaving a little bit differently. So let's say this guy right here, it's gonna take a little bit longer to realign with the main magnetic field. So its signal might look something like this. So the signal of this little guy, because it's taking longer once we flip it to come back to equilibrium, is gonna have a signal that looks something like this, that takes longer to reach equilibrium. So we basically have all these protons from different tissues, or really just different environments, that are coming up at different rates. We call them relaxing at different rates. Now for an MRI image, we flip down millions of protons at the same time, and they're each gonna rise back up at their own different rates. Now for an MRI image, we have to say stop at a particular time along this axis, along the time axis. So let's say we say stop over here. The protons that are from this green, let's say it's white matter, has a higher signal at this point in time than the signal coming from this little guy. Let's say those are gray matter, protons that are in the gray matter. And so if we say stop at this instant in time, our MRI image is gonna have white matter that's brighter than gray matter. And this is exactly what we see in a T1 weighted image. Now if we said stop further over here, then we wouldn't see as much difference between the white and gray matter because their signals are pretty much at the same level. So how quickly these different protons rise up has to do with the different shades of gray that we see on an MRI image. How amazing is that? MRI images are literally created from atoms in our body moving around and inducing a voltage in a coil. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it gives you a high-level understanding of some of the beauty of magnetic resonance. If you have any questions, feel free to write them below. Thanks so much.